Hi there, today I wanna to show you how to modify seated forward bend. You know, yoga gets a bad rap sometimes for being the type of practice that is for flexible people only. And unfortunately, this pose kind of reinforces that. So I feel like it's really important to talk about today because whether you can touch your toes or not is completely irrelevant to doing this pose. I can't tell you how many times I've heard from someone I'm not good at yoga or I can't do yoga. I'm really inflexible. And you know what? It really makes me sad because, well, you probably already have done some and you already like yoga and you know how great it is. But somewhere along the way, they've heard or seen that it's for young people or really bendy people or thin people who can wrap their feet around their heads and they're wearing expensive yoga pants and, well, you and I probably already know that stuff is all So today I wanna to just bust up some myths about flexibility and help reinforce that idea that yoga is about connecting to your body, making the practice work for you so that you feel great. So first things first, whenever we modify a pose, we wanna ask ourselves, why am I doing this? What's the point? And how does this help me out in real life? And while this pose looks like a stretch my tight hamstrings pose, the main action is actually learning how to tilt your pelvis so you can extend your spine over your legs. So this is about keeping your hips and your lower back nice and strong. We need to be able to move them in all kinds of directions so that we can do things safely, like pick something up off of the floor, which I bet you do every single day. Without that mobility, we might be bending over from somewhere higher up in the back, and that is not the strongest, safest way to bend over. So I'm gonna show you how to get that pelvis tilting, no matter if you have tight hamstrings or not. Tilting your pelvis means you're changing the shape of your lumbar spine and taking your hips farther forward than your pubic bone. What does that even mean? Let's take a look at a pose you're probably pretty familiar with. We're starting in table. You've probably done cat and cow before. When you go into cat pose, you are tucking your tail under. It's also called a posterior tilt of the pelvis. And when you're coming into that cow shape, you are lifting your tail and doing what's called an anterior tilt. And that is the tilt we want to happen before we go into our forward bend. I think of this as happy dog as opposed to sad dog with the tail tucked under. So when you come to sitting on the ground and sending your legs out in front of you, if you feel like you are falling backwards into that sad dog tucked position, then what you wanna do is give yourself a little slack in the hamstrings. Tight hamstrings will put you into sad dog position. Hamstrings with a little bit of slack by just bending your knees should give you a little more availability to tilt that pelvis. From here, you keep your knees slightly lifted, you don't need any props, and you can reach your spine a little bit forward. Now, if it's difficult still to get your spine to come forward, you may need a little space between your legs. So separate your feet a little bit and try to move from that tucked under position to that anterior tilted pelvis to take your spine forward. It doesn't matter if you hold your feet, you can just let your hands be on the floor, on your shins, your ankles, wherever they reach. Here's a pro tip, if you're gonna be in this pose for more than 30 seconds and you have time to prop it up, go and grab a bolster. Most people will tell you to sit on it and extend your legs forward. And while that is a little bit helpful, it doesn't give you quite as much slack into the hamstrings as placing it underneath your knees. So a pillow, a rolled up blanket, or a bolster underneath your knees rather than under your bottom. Lift on up, extend your spine, try and get that tilt in your pelvis. <laughs> and then, ah, extend forward and hold your bend. So that is how you modify seated forward bend or Paschimottanasana. So fun to say. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next 
how to modify video for women over 40.